working on the XJ project today and I'm just kind of remembering how far this has come so far. I don't know if you guys have seen the intro video to this project if you haven't checked it out because getting it on this lift was a project in its own. But this fuel tank was sitting on the pallet. So the full weight of the XJ was on the fuel tank and the oil pan. Oil pan's jacked up. But before I put the tank back in, I decided I should pull the fuel pump and check it. Well, legs were all smashed in. This was sitting in the bottom of the tank. The screen that goes on the bottom of this was just floating around in there. So I ended up putting a new fuel pump in it just so we don't have to worry about it. That can go in the garbage can. And I'm going to go check in the warehouse, see if we got anything that'll uh, help protect this thing. Let's go. So I just happened to found the... Uh, the old skid plate for the fuel tank back on the shelf there because we stocked most of our stuff. So that was super handy. So we're going to get this sucker on box, get it up under the XJ. Yeah. A little beefy. Ugh. That ought to do her. Well, that was a lot of packaging, but we wanted to get all our product to you as safe as possible, protect that powder coat so you feel good about bashing your own rig and making your own scratches. So this ought to do it. This is going to protect our fuel tank and our fuel pump not to leave us stranded on the trail. Give you something really solid to bash up against some stuff. Let's get it on there. So behind your bumper, you got these little cutouts here and there's actual gas tank skid plate nut plates. And we pulled ours out in chunks and we had to make a couple of relief cuts to make room for it. But now we're ready. We got some brand new nut plates. Get those in there and ready to go. So we're going to put our most rear bolts in because if you look on the skid plate, they're notched out. So we'll be able to tuck this under, back, notch them in, and then we'll put the screw jack on the front of it, get it tightened up. Let's go. And there you have it. Nice seven gauge thick. Plant that thing on a boulder. Don't have to worry about your fuel tank. It's about a five minute install. You know, if you got your rear bumper off, you got your nut plates cut out, you got everything already painted. It can be a beast. Take your time with it, getting all the prep work done. Get your final product, nice fresh powder coat on there. Get it installed, get it on the trail. So this was a quick, easy install because we've got everything kind of already torn apart on it. If you're doing this on the ground at your house, you know, you got to get your rear bumper off. If you've got a trailer hitch, that'll have to come off to get access to your factory skid plate. Um, so we may have to pop a couple of these bolts off when we go to mount our rear bumper on, but we got new nut plates. We got new hardware. Should be a pretty simple, easy swap out, get that bumper installed on there. Um, so once you get your skid on there, if you got the trailer hitch get that reinstalled um, we do have these for the older style and new style or both versions of the gas tank you just need to know which one when you're ordering online if you don't know 
give me a call. I can walk you through. We can get it figured out and get you the stuff you need. Um, but yeah, super beefy upgrade, super easy install for the most part. If you need new nut plates, we've got those on our website. We can get you the hardware for them too. If you ever have any questions, give us a call. Talk to me. Talk to Josh. We'll get you taken care of.